Hi guys, this is Prentice from the MMO Champion Pally Forums, and I wanted to give you a quick rundown of how I have my CLC Red add-on set up, specifically referring to the um, aura buttons and the layout. So let's go ahead and get straight into the into the console slash CLC Red, assuming you have it installed. Now I just went and I actually downloaded this. It's the most recent copy from the Curse client, which I used and I run every day to make sure my add-ons are up to date prior to the raid. Um, as you can see, my console right here is always showing. I have tinkered around with the valid target and in combat settings before, and I kind of got annoyed when it was disappearing or when I was running to a target and it wasn't there because I had it set to in combat only and I wasn't yet. So I just found that always is the best setting for me. Personal preference. It's all your choice. Um, appearance. The only thing that I point out here is I actually I have mine console set to use my own holy power bar. I use the Pitbull um, raid frames option or unit frames option, and they have their own holy power, but I really don't like where it's located, and it's just not convenient for me. So I go ahead and use this one. I have increased the size of it slightly and moved it down to just below the rest of my um, aura buttons. Rotation. Now understand, some of these settings are still a work in progress. I've been tweaking them to find better rotations, better clash resolution. So if some of these options seem kind of weird to you, they're definitely not the defaults, and that's my doing because I'm still trying to find out what's working best for me. Um, something that I, Another thing that I wanted to point out is I've heard a number of people or seen a number of people state that you could not edit the rotation in CLC RET, and that is entirely untrue. You can actually set it right here by typing in the abbreviation from the legend above into this line, and that is your sequence, simply separating the different abbreviations by a space. Now going down below, you can see I think some of these defaults are three, and I've got them set to two. Don't take those for law. That's just me messing around. Um, one thing that I did want to point out in this menu is Consecration is a spell that does not normally show up in your rotation, yet it's part of the rotation list. The reason being is, by default, the minimum mana required to cast Consecration is set by default to 30,000. When I'm fully raid buffed, I only have 27.2k. For that reason, it will never appear in the list because I'll never have that much mana. What I've done is actually lowered the minimum mana required to 23,000, and that way I will only see Consecration appear as a priority from CLC Ret when I am basically at full mana. And by doing so, by keeping the threshold so high, it allows me to cast it during slow times, but it will never put me so low that I cannot cast Holy Radiance or Divine Storm or any other spell that I need to be at that moment in time. Behavior, I pretty much just leave those as defaults. Getting into the aura buttons. Now, this is the part that gives people the most problems, and I don't think they quite understand the spells and abilities. Um, basically, any on-use ability that you are looking to track is going to appear as a skill, specifically referring to Avenging Wrath, Zealotry, and Guardian Ancient Kings. All three of those are skills. Now, as you can see from the list, skill appears three times. I prefer the skill always vis visible. Um, there are two other options, and that's just a preference on how the aura button actually appears when it's on cooldown or available. It's really not very, it's not a big deal. It's just different strokes for different folks. The target unit refers to the cooldown and the duration in seconds. Obviously, um, Wings has a two minute cooldown and a 20 second duration, so that's how you type it in there, just separating the values by a colon. Um, the spell ID, you can type it in by the spell number, the ID number, or by the actual spell name. My suggestion to you to avoid trouble in other spots is to make sure that you type in the spell ID number. And um, in a moment you'll see why. So Avenging Wrath has a spell ID of 31884. Hit enter, it resolved the name, it knows exactly what it is. Make sure you select that it's cast by player and enabled. <coughs> The spell ID number can actually be found on Wowhead or ThoughtBot. When you do a search for the name, just look up at the URL and you'll see the last five numbers of the website address. Those are the, the spell ID number that you're actually looking for to put in this field. Aura button 2 is Zealotry. It's almost identical to Avenging Wrath, and I have it set up the exact same way. Aura button 4, again, the 5-minute cooldown translates to 300 seconds, 30-minute duration, pretty black and white. One thing that I do want to point out, if you type in the spell name, Guardian of the Ancient Kings, 
you run the potential risk of typing in the wrong spell or having it look for the wrong spell because you have to understand that there are three versions of that spell one for holy one for prot and one for ret this one is kind of difficult to actually look up but it is there it's just under undefined spells on wowhead and the ret version of guardian of the ancient kings that provides the stacking buff is eight six six nine eight hit enter it resolved it we're good enabled and cast by player now the trinkets this is one that kicks a lot of people the, the first trinket that I'll go ahead and assign the button to is the Heroic Heart of Rage trinket. Now, as you can see, I have it set to an ICD proc. That's basically any trinket that has a chance on hit ability or chance on hit proc. For this trinket, it is assumed that the cooldown is five times that of the duration. As such, 100 seconds and 20 seconds. The Rage Heart here. Now, unlike the three abilities that I've already done, which were Avenging Wrath, Zealotry, and Guardian Ancient Kings, this does not appear as Heart of Rage. You actually need the proc buff name. And in this case, for Heart of Rage, it's actually Rage Heart. But understand, there are two versions of the Rage Heart buff, the Heroic and the Non-Heroic. One gives 1,900 and something strength, one gives 2,100 and something strength. That's where you need to type in the spell ID to make sure you're getting the proper values and it's seeking the proper buff. In this case, Rage Heart is 92345. Hit enter, it resolved it, and we're good. Just make sure you set it to enable. Um, or a button 5. This is something that I've just been um, toying with lately, and it's not probably set up properly in CLC Red because I don't think they ever assumed that somebody was going to put a potion on their bar, but I went ahead and did. So what this is, is an on-use item. Obviously a potion, you have to click it, you have to drink it. Um, potions have a cooldown of one minute and a duration of 25 seconds. The spell ID up here, I actually typed in the spell ID number, and while it does recognize it for the purpose of tracking the aura button and making it fade when I use my potion, it doesn't resolve the name properly. I'm not quite sure why. Again, I don't think they thought anybody was going to be goofy enough to track potions. But... So be it. And I actually have mine set on the on use button so that the aura button disappears completely when the potion is on cooldown. So let's go ahead and set up a new one. We'll start from scratch. We'll select the aura button 6, and I'm going to actually set in the proc for crushing weight. Um, because it's a trinket with a chance on hit, I'm going to set it to an ICD proc. Now I want to go ahead and type in the spell ID for the buff. On Crushing Weight, the buff name is Race Against Death. And for the non-heroic version, the spell ID is 91821. I hit enter, Race Against Death. Um, this trinket has a 15 second duration, and it is assumed that the cooldown is five times longer than the duration. So that would mean that it is a 75 second cooldown and a 15 second duration. I hit OK, and I enable it. <coughs> As you can see, the Race Against Death icon appeared just above my Crusader Strike. So now I need to go ahead and place it. <clears throat> the main skill is always the top. As you can see, the size is set to 70, and when you look at the remainder of these, the size is much smaller, obviously. That's why that icon is so large. Um, by default, I believe Crusader Strike is... I don't think I've changed the size of my Crusader Strike icon. And my secondary skill should be the same, even if I've just moved it a little bit or wiggled it around. But getting into the aura buttons, let's go ahead and move aura button 6 to where I want it located, which will be the top left corner of the incomplete row that I have right now. Um, so I've already kind of cheated, and I know exactly where I want to put it. I would never suggest moving these manually, um, because it won't line up properly, and everybody wants it to be pretty. So... In this case, my y-axis is negative 40, and that didn't enter properly, so let me try it one more time. Negative 40, and there it goes, and my x-axis is negative 136. As you can see, I've got all of my buttons lined up properly, and by clicking through these different displays, you can see that they're either that they're all they're they're in pairs essentially is what they are. 
I do not have Seal of Vengeance tracking enabled because I actually use class timers for that. And that is the entire setup of my CLC RET and how you can see the layout of my buttons. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick rotation. Hopefully I get some quick procs so you can see these things. Heart of Rage actually just procced and you can see that I'm now on a 20 second timer. The the aura button is still illuminated, meaning that the buff is active. And momentarily, you'll see the actual, or you'll see the, the aura button fade to gray and initiate a 1 minute and 20 second cooldown. And there it goes. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when I use my Avenging Wrath. There you go. It initiated the 2 minute cooldown because I set that cooldown in the um, aura button's options. And let's see. Get one more. Oh, and Race Against Death or Crushing Weight just procced. And it's doing the exact same thing as the Heart of Rage Trinket did. Here we go. Let's pop Zealotry. And now it's on a cooldown and you can see it. Guardian Ancient Kings did the exact same thing. When I, when I used my potion, to show you that it actually worked the way I have it set up, I'll go ahead and use one. And now you can see that it actually disappeared from the top center row of my aura buttons. And it is active. In approximately 55 seconds, that icon will appear under my CLC RET console. Um, one thing that I saw somebody ask was how to set up tracking for the duration remaining on um, Inquisition. And while I tampered around quite a bit, I was unable to find a good way to track that. Um, if somebody else has a better idea, feel free to let me know. But I, I'm sorry about that one. I did look and I couldn't quite find it. So hopefully this helped, and if you got any questions, I can probably answer them in the field below on this YouTube page, or you can pose your questions on the MMO Champion Pally forums. Thanks for watching.